All right. How's it going, everybody? Uh, whether you're, <laughs> I knew that was like an hour and a half, so I apologize. I know that was a, that was a long one. So um, you are welcome, of course, to watch me do this live. You are, of course, welcome to come back uh, and do this later. But I figured as a bonus to kind of help you guys out and because I want to set up these campaigns for myself as well, I'm going to be doing uh, the implementation of the homework live uh, on every one of these uh, workshop days. All right. So I am, uh, let's do it. So uh, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to do the homework. Just a good way to keep myself accountable, make sure that I'm actually, I'm actually doing, <laughs> doing all of this work as well with you guys. Uh, so this is what I need to share. Boom, I think. Yep, so that's my screen. All right, you guys can see that. And uh, let me make sure I got everybody, everybody in here. All right, so that's just me talking. So here in this live stream, I just posted, wait, let me go into uh, the workshop page. Uh, whoops, somebody wants to join. Let me just join Adam in quick, real quick. Okay, so, all right, so now we're back in here and I just posted the, the, uh, work, the workshop uh, presentation is here, so you guys can pull that in. And then here is the document that um, Pablo prepared for us in order for us to actually create the structure for our campaigns. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on file and make a copy. And we're gonna call this for me, Tenerife uh, Boat Charters uh, PPC campaign. Now, you guys are, of course, welcome to ask questions as I'm going through this. If you are still sticking around and you're alive, uh, you should know that I will be moving through this relatively quickly. Uh, I'm going to be narrating what I'm doing. Um, but uh, I've done this a lot of times. I've never actually used keywords everywhere, so that'll be interesting. But I just I just I clean this up a little bit. Let me actually kind of I like my spreadsheet nice and clean. So this is mine now. So I just cleaned it up. Um, and I'm gonna pull this out actually just in case you guys have any questions. I'll just be following that. You guys all can hear me, right? My audio is working. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure. <laughs> Um, all right, so I got this, uh, this is the sheet that we don't need anymore. So we got that going for us. Um, and let me open up this live just in case you guys have questions. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, all right, make sure that's all good. All right, so if you guys do have any questions or and you are following along, along live, you're of course welcome to follow along. Uh, you can also ask questions later and I will Respond to them. Sorry. So our homework assignment is click on this link to go to Google Sheets. Done. Click on file. Make a copy. Done. Complete steps in the document. All right. So uh, we're going to clear out all of this data because we don't need that. All right. And um, I'm actually going to do some brainstorming directly in the, in here. So um, I right now is COVID time. So I know that people are um, we we do we do private charters. We do group charter we can do group like group tours uh but during corona we've actually seen a massive increase in our private charter business uh, and so just to kind of keep things clean and easy i'm actually going to be building a ppc campaign for our private charters only um so uh that's where i'm going to be focusing uh in, in this campaign i i I know that it's good for us to do like, you know, it's, it's generally good to do a lot of keyword research, do like something that's, that's, that's big and broad and has a lot of information and you, you then like tailor it and you start creating different campaigns. Um, I just want to like create a strong campaign for my private charters. That's my, that's my goal is I want to have a, uh, a steady, um, uh, booking volume of, uh, of our private charter business. And so that's what I'm going to focus on. So I'm going to do, um, some really basic keyword, keyword brainstorming real quick. So I know that people are going to be searching for boat charter, uh, boat rental 
yacht charter, uh, yacht rental. Um, they're going to be looking for uh, private boat, something like that. Maybe private boat. Well, let's let's actually that's, that's, the, that's the extent of my my my, my brain my brainstorming. So let's let's launch into. Let me actually extend this a little bit. Maybe make it easier for you guys to follow. Make it more 1080. All right. So I need to install keywords everywhere. So let's search for that. So that's keywords everywhere. And I'm going to install it for Chrome. Uh, enable. So I, already, I guess I already had it installed, but I wasn't using it. So now it's enabled. Uh, some of you guys may have this uh strange thing where it gets hidden so here i'm showing my keywords everywhere all right so that's my keywords everywhere so i have no credits because i don't have an api key yet um so i'm going to go ahead and purchase additional credits there's a button here for ten dollars i can buy a hundred thousand credits and i'm going to do that now i'm going to pause my pause my uh, share real quick while i do that My card number in. And Tax is zero, phone number, page number. And so I'm essentially paying ten dollars for a hundred thousand credits. Bum bum. Continue. All right. Process. All right. So I have a hundred thousand. I'm going to resume my share now. So uh, I now have a hundred thousand credits, and I'm going to get my API key just in case. And I'm not sure if I already have it or not. agree all right so my email i guess i'm going to have an api key let's check my email and here's my api key copy don't use my api key guys <laughs> i should have probably should have blocked this out don't use my API key. Uh, da, da, da. No, I can close that. And so from here, I can go to, oh, I already have it in my API key in there. All right, cool. So, but if you didn't have it, you go to your settings and then you just put your API key in here and click on validate, boom, it's done. Um, I am going to keep all the default settings. And now we are going to search for, we're going to do the search that, uh, that, that Pablo was telling us. So he's going to, we're going to go to Google and I'm going to search for Tenerife uh, boat charter. Boom. All right. So we got these here. Uh, it says load metrics uses eight credits. So let's do that. We already have credits. What are you talking about? That's really strange. I literally just added this. API key is valid. I'm very confused. Keywords everywhere, you're making things not so easy for me right now. Was it a different API key that I needed? Oh, uh, I think I used a different AP, I used a different email address. Let's try that.
Okay, let's try this one now. Okay. So what's it, what's it telling me now? Okay, there we go. There's my 100,000 credits. I think I was just using the wrong email address. All right, so now if I refresh this. Yeah, okay, now we get data. All right, cool. Um, and so he says use the uh, to use the uh, stars, right? And then it'll just import it into into your into the account. So let's do so related keywords, things to do in Tenerife, jet ski Tenerife, Los Gigantes build boat hire, Zego boat hire Tenerife Costa Deje, private boat party Tenerife yacht charter locations. All right, so Dream Yacht Charter. I don't even know who this, who, who this is. Maybe this is a, a competitor or maybe this is like a Yacht Charter Vacations. Got it, so it's, like a, it's a company that does Yacht Charters. That's what that is. I'm not gonna bid on that one. Um, so we'll do Yacht Charters, Boat Hire, Costa Deje, uh, Los Gigantes Boat Hire. That's a location in Tenerife. Boat Hire, Costa Deje, that we need that one. Boat rental Tenerife Playa. We need that one. That's a good one. Although it says zero, which is strange. There's no ads running though for Tenerife boat charter, but I'm in the US. So maybe that's why. So if I was in the UK, then maybe there'd be some ads. Uh, things to do in Tenerife. Uh, that's too broad for me right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rank for that one. Although the CPC is really low, 19 cents, but that's probably because uh, this is a very broad term. Jet ski Tenerife, let's get on to boat hire. Uh, so let's do Tenerife boat rental. What about that one? What do we get for this? Boat hire near me. So this is if we were doing if we were doing a local campaign. So I'll I'll put it in there because I think local is something that we need to do. Uh, rent boat near me. Boat rental charter boat Tenerife. Tenerife boat trips. Sailing in Tenerife, yacht hire Tenerife, uh, boat hire Golf del Sur, private boat trip Tenerife. So these are good. Let me do um, answer the public. Is that what it was? Let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go in here. Let's go Tenerife. We'll just do Tenerife boat. It's a pretty common or like a, a broad enough that it'll actually have some results coming in so let's do tenerife boat so is it doing did it already find it yeah there we go so we have tenerife boat to grand canaria to logo mara to africa that's right so let's go scroll down like he was saying and so here we're at the bottom so we got Tenerife Dolphin Boat Trip, Tenerife Dolphin Boat. Yeah, so we want these. So I'm going to pull in, this is D's. Let's start on A's. Uh, Armus we don't want. So Armus is, is a is a is um, like a ferry that goes between islands. Uh, so like boat, boat to Africa, Tenerife Rent-A-Boat. Yes, yeah, so we want Tenerife Rent-A-Boat. That's a good one. 480 a month. It's not bad, actually. Uh, Tenerife boat trips, Las Americas, Costa Deje, Tenerife hire a boat. We'll take that one. Tenerife Las Americas boat party. So I'll do. I'll show you guys a quick trick. If you're if you're watching this, one of the things you could do. Um, so like, if you see keywords that come up that are definitely not what you want to be showing up for, you should start tracking those. So uh, I'm going to start a column here called negative keywords and well i'll explain this to you guys later i think we'll actually cover it in, in one of the future classes but you essentially you can build a keyword list of uh of words that you definitely know that you know 100 percent that you don't want to show up for because they're clearly irrelevant like armas for armas is a ferry right so like i don't want to show up for people that are searching for a ferry that is definitely not what i'm trying to sell right so what you do is you put negative keywords and just start collecting uh, words that you definitely know you don't want to show up for if you, if you start seeing them. So like boat party, like we don't do a boat party. Like this is actually a very specific tour. There's something called Utopia where like there's a big catamaran that goes out with a DJ. 
uh, and a bunch of young kids go out and party on it cool but definitely not what we do either so i'm going to do party i'm also going to put in utopia so i'm going to pull that one out uh let's go back in here by the way where are we looking are we in the uk i forgot to even yeah sir ian gb yeah, so we're in the uk all right so we're going to go back down here um so we don't want to do that one tenerife by boat tenerife by boat from uk that's a long it's a really long trip Tenerife banana boat. I don't even know what that is. Glass bottom boat. Lanzarote to Morocco, Tenerife by boat. All right. So these are all, so you can see like, like I don't want to rank for glass bottom. Like that's definitely not what we have, right? Like we have sailing, we have charter, we have uh, dolphin and whale watching. So we have like a lot of, a lot of things that I do want to show up for, but there's a lot of stuff I don't want to show up for. Like, I don't want to show up for Alicante and Morocco and Lanzarote. Right. So I'm just going to pull, pull all these in here. These are keywords that I know for sure. Uh, people are look have it, have it, whoops, have a different search intent and they're looking for stuff that I definitely do not have to offer. Uh, Alicante. So we'll do that one. Uh, Zorazi Alicante uh, from, from UK. That's definitely not what we want. Banana boat. We are we do not have a banana boat. So oops. So put banana in there. All right, but here we go. Tenerife boat charter. Yes. Tenerife boat cruise. Yeah, I think we could probably get away with that. Uh, Tenerife boat crash. Boat trips. Yeah, so that was a good one. Tenerife boat trips. Tenerife private boat charter. Boat Tenerife Grand Canaria. So that's another one. Los Cristianos. So Grand Canaria is another one that we do not want to rank for because we are not located there. So we're going to do that one. Uh, let's see. Tenerife dolphin boat trip. We'll do that one. Dolphin boat. Day boat trips. Tenerife boat party against so this. Another one, Tenerife boat trips, Porto de la Cruz. Mm, boat trips, Plus Americas. Tenerife self drive boat hire, right? So, like, this is something we do not offer. You actually have to have a captain's license in order to do that in Tenerife. That's not, it's not like in other places in the world where you can actually take, go out, you know, in like a, in like a, like a canal or something like that. You can actually go out and take a, your own boat out. I know that there's a lot of places that do like boat rentals, but in, Tenerife, you're out at sea. Um, you're actually out in the ocean, and it requires uh, quite a bit of training and you know, a captain's license to do that. So, I know for sure that you can't self-drive any boats. So, I'll take that one out. Diamant Tenerife boat. I don't know what that is. We won't have to put that in there. Tenerife boat excursions. Uh, if we had, that is an excursion boat Tenerife El Hierro. That's another place. It's another island. So we'll put that also in the negative list. And event bright Tenerife boat party. Nope. All right. Tenerife boat for sale. That's another word that we don't want to show up for. This makes it easier to do this all now, by the way, than like trying to do it later. So uh, boat fishing. Fuerteventura is another one that we don't want to show up for. Tenerife fun boat. So this is actually us, Tenerife fun boat. <laughs> So yeah, I want to rank for, for that. Uh, Tenerife by boat from UK. Uh, ferry is another word that I do not want to show up for. I know, not this this work is not sexy, guys. It's 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 just you kind of just need to get it done. And it's it's better that you do it, by the way, than anybody else, because you know your business a lot better than than a consultant does. Um, I mean, they could figure all that stuff out, but trust me, it's good for you to have a handle on this. Uh, before you start hiring people to help you with it. So ferry boat, Tenerife, Fuerteventura, fun child boat. I don't know what that is. Okay, so we don't need that one. Boat, Tenerife, Grand Canaria, uh, ferry, Tenerife boat, no, no. Uh, Tenerife boat trip. Yeah, so that one I can do. Let's get Gontas, Tenerife boat hire we can do. Tenerife private boat hire we can do. Tenerife speed boat hire. And by the way, this is a really this is a really interesting point uh, to make when we're talking about this because um, Pablo is trying to is 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 running campaigns for Grand Cayman, 
And if you're like, just kind of curious, you can actually type in. So like Tenerife boat rental has a volume of 480. Okay. And uh, if I type in Cayman boat rental, the volume is only 90 per month. They still tripled his business on such low volume. So there's a lot more people looking for Tenerife boat rentals, right? Or boat hires or private charters. Like let's just do boat charter. So in Cayman boat charter, the volume is 110 per month, right? And in Tenerife boat charter is 70 per month. And they have actually a little bit more people looking for the specific word boat charter, but the, that's not how people describe uh, boat charters in Tenerife. The, they actually describe it as um, uh, boat hire. Yeah, so 320 per month, see? So by the way, those kind of like nuances in the way that the keywords actually come up are very important because for, for your market, you will have your own specific uh, length, like vernacular, the, the, the words that people use to describe uh, what, what they're doing. And this is actually very typical based off of the different places of the world. Like for instance, UK and, uh, and the US both speak English, but the way that they describe going out and actually going on their own boat as a private group, you Americans would describe that as a boat charter or a yacht charter or a private charter. But in the UK, they hire, they describe it as a boat hire or a, or a, a private private boat hire, right? It's just the it's just the, the different um, the nuance in the language, um, and only you will really know those those distinctions. So use that knowledge in the way that you kind of start doing these, this brainstorming activity, right? And the way you start thinking about this. Um, all right, so we're gonna keep adding stuff here. So again, self drive is no go. So what we have here's another boat hire, uh, El Hero, Puerto Colón, Tenerife boat hire. Tenerife beats a boat party. Tenerife beats a beats a nope. Tenerife boat trip to other islands. Boat and ten insomnia. So these are all these like boat parties. We don't want any of those. Jet boat. We definitely don't have a jet boat. We have a sailing sailing boat. Boat party January. Boat jobs. Uh, Tenerife Gomera Palma. Tenerife boat trip Los Gigantes. Ferry slow boat. Tenerife Mosca boat. Slow boat, Tenerife menu, Tenerife Marrakesh Oriental. Yeah, Tenerife boat party, North Tenerife boat trips, Tenerife boat party. By the way, you should have a list of probably around 50 to 100 keywords that you can safely go after. That's that's a safe amount of keywords. Don't give up if you're only at like 10 or 20. Keep thinking about ways that you can describe your product or service that you're trying to advertise, right? Those are all boat parties, boat rental, boat rent, boat rides, boat party, boat rental, boat rental. Yeah, those are all good. Tenerife boat sales. Uh, south boat trips. Tenerife speed boat. Sunset boat trip. Sailboat. I don't want to do that one. Los Americas. This is a great little tool, by the way. This definitely makes things easy. Let's get going. All right. Boat whales. White Tenerife boat. White Tenerife boat trip. Boat whale Tenerife Viking boat. We are not a Viking boat. Uh, what's this? Related. Tenerife boat charter, boat sales, boat excursions. Boom, boom. So are these... Um, I'm just going to bring me up more. Let's see. All right, let's use their uh, little keyword tool here and let's do import keywords. 
And I'm actually gonna show you guys another little trick, a little tool that, that is pretty cool. It's called the Keyword Mixer. It's super handy for generating a lot of different um, ideas. So in the Keyword Mixer tool, we're gonna do is we're gonna place Tenerife, Costa Adeje. These are just locations that I know people use to describe um, our place, right? So like, for instance, here in Keywords Anywhere, I can type in my keywords and you'll see that like, uh, you'll see that often says a Costa Deje, Playa de las Americas, Tenerife South, right? So these are just words that I'm gonna put in here because I know that that's where people, what people use to describe it. Los Cristianos, uh, Puerto Colón, And we've also got, I think we also have like Tenerife South, uh, Los Gigantes, there's just places I, I know off the top of my head, Los Gigantes. So Tenerife, Costa de Playa Los Americas, Los Cristianos, Puerto Colón, Tenerife South. Let's see, um, and um, so let's just start with those. I think it's a good list. And then what we do here, so, you should, so I, what I'll do is I'll put all these places, right? And then what I'll do is I'll do boat, uh, yacht, uh, sail, sailing, Boating, I'll just put like a bunch of variations. Uh, boat, yacht, sail, sailing, boating, yachting. So the, for you, it could be like walking, hiking, right? Or food, gastronomy, right? Like these are all like words that can be used to describe your product or service um, or, your, or your particular types of tours. But we have boat, yacht, sail, sailing, boating, yachting. Um, what else? Uh, we have charter. see it looks like like dolphin and whale is used a lot so what i'll do is i'll do dolphin whale so you see how like i'm kind of just getting ideas from one place using them in another place right uh, so higher is another ones but yeah this is it like this was essentially what people use to describe boat yacht sail is that a word for boat that i'm missing i don't think so Yeah. And now what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to put um, words like uh, tour, excursion, um, uh, private rental, hire, uh, what else? Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, rental higher, higher. Rides. You can also do uh, the trips whales i think i got i think i got it oh let me do trip and trips all right so i put i don't know one two three four five six seven words here and then i put however one two three four five six seven eight nine here and then some i don't even know maybe 13 or 14 there so i put these together and this essentially like mixes all the keywords Right, so this is a really cool tool because now it says you have 840 combinations that are possible. It's a really easy and fast way to generate a lot of uh, keyword ideas very quickly. So now I have 840, I'm gonna click on merge. And you can see, so you have Tenerife sale excursion, Tenerife sale private. And then it took all of these words too. So now it doesn't, it has Tenerife charter. Now they're all not perfect, 
but it's a, you don't want to be perfect at brainstorming. You know, you just want to put as many ideas out there as possible. Right? So you have Tenerife tour. So like you have like a bunch of these. And so now I have this really long list of keywords. And what I did was I'm just going to copy all of this. Right. And I'm going to put it into this import tool. Right. And click on paste. So it just took all of those keywords that I put together. Right. And I'm going to click on get metrics. Really quick, easy way. So like, here's one that I missed, right? Like I didn't, I didn't have this one start boat excursion. Some of them don't make sense. Right. And what I'm going to do just for like a really quick and easy analysis, is I'm just going to sort this by volume. So now I have a bunch of ideas. So Tenerife boat trip is obviously a pretty popular one. Tenerife uh rental no because tenerife rental is probably going to be people looking for um a, like apartments or villas or they actually want to like a rent right rental but i am going to do tenerife tours tenerife tour tenerife excursions so i'm going to do all of these tenerife trips then we got like interestingly right so like costa de boat trip like these are great like i'm going to do all of these boat trips boat trips boat trips boat tours. So clearly boat trips are probably pretty popular. I think we're in the, in the right, on the right track and the volume is pretty significant. We're pretty cheap cost per clicks, right? With pretty low competition generally. So um, I think we're just kind of in a lucky market to do this. Uh, Costa de excursions, we're going to do Los Cristianos boat trips, uh, do excursions, boat trips, uh, yacht rental. Uh, dolphin tour, dolphin tours, Costa de trips, Tenerife South excursions. Dolphin, dolphin boat. Los Cristianos excursions, Los Gigantes tour, Costa de tour, Costa de tours, Los Cristianos trips, Puerto Colón boat trips, Tenerife yacht trips, dolphin excursion. Boat hire, dolphin trip, tours, dolphin, boat tour. All right. Well, we're getting somewhere. This is pretty good. Let's do some, let's show some more here. So one thing I would say is like, don't shy away. If this is zero, it's okay, right? Because um, the, there's a lot of long tail searches out there. Remember we were talking about that like head and then middle and then long tail uh, searches. The long tail is where you'll get the cheapest, right? Because like most people are going to be, if they're like doing basic ads, they're going to be they're going to be doing advertising on this. That's why there's high, heavier, heavier competition and heavier prices, right? Like Tenerife tours is 57 uh, cent, right? Uh, so you generally don't want to shy away from keywords, even if it doesn't have any, if it has zero search volumes, but it's only like three keywords, you know, like Tenerife yacht hire. Like if no one else is advertising or bidding on that, but like it gets 10 searches a month, you know, like in reality and not in like estimated data, but in reality, if it only gets like 10 searches a month, like I'll take that traffic, you know, like that's, it's, it's very, um, um, it's a very specific keyword, right? So definitely would want to have that, that traffic come in. So don't shy away from, if it says zero, still add it to your keyword list, right? So yacht tour, boat rentals, yacht excursion, yacht private, uh, yacht hire, um, yacht tours. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all of these because I may get, you know, if even if I have, if I, if, you know, these are zero, it means that it just doesn't have enough data, which means it could be like one or two searches a month that it gets, right? Because people use a lot of different language to describe what they're searching for. So if that, even if that, if that happens, don't worry about it. Just uh, if you have a hundred of these that have zero, but they cumulatively add up to a hundred searches a month, it's still going to be traffic, right? And it's going to be really cheap, really cheap traffic. All right. I, th I mean, there's, that can probably keep going, but I think that we're, I think we're, we're good. Mm. 
All right. I think that's good for now. Now, let's see if uh, how many we have in our list. So that was the, this is the list I made, right? So let's see. So this is my favorites. So my favorites now have 123 entries. Awesome. That's great. Um, I am going to copy this. Now for your business, this might take longer. You know, clearly I'm doing this very quickly. Um, but now I have all of those. I'm just going to paste this into my sheet. I don't really want this trend data in here. So I'm just going to delete all of that. And I have my search volume. Wait, why is it only giving me these? Oh, because I only copied the one page. So let's, so if that happens to you and there's clearly many more pages of data, just click on this and expand it. So you have all of the keywords on one page. Yeah, there we go. And now we can copy it. So now it'll give me all that data. I'm gonna pull that out and I'm gonna paste it. All right, so now I have all that data. So I'm just gonna take all of this. I'm gonna delete all of that. So now we just have my keyword search volume, CPC and competition global. And let's see, I need to put my keywords here. Uh, Corresponds type. Oh, that's going to be later on. So I, you know, don't fill that in yet. I think that's, uh, I think that's Portuguese. <laughs> Corresponds will be uh, match type. And then you search volume competition CPC. All right, so I'm going to take my keywords and I'm going to put them Actually, this is going to be a little tricky. Let me do it a different way. I'm just going to, and obviously you can do this in any way that makes it easiest for you. Just, I just don't want to overwrite the data that I have here. So I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to just kind of do this. And then I'm going to take all of this. And I'm going to move it into here. So I have search volume, CPC, so I'm going to just delete this first line because I don't need that. Boom. All right. So I have my keywords. I have my search volume. I have my competition and I have my cost per click. Okay. So I'm just going to change this because I want, so this actually should be like a percentage number. Yeah. That's way easier. Actually, is it a percentage number? I think it's probably more of like a, just a number. Yeah. So it just gives you a competition. Uh, CPC, I'm going to change this because this is the actual amount. So I'm going to do an accounting style. All right. So that's how much it costs per click. Um, and I'm just going to remove this as my like early brainstorm session. I got my negative keywords here as well. I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to filter it. And I'm going to look by sort by my search volume. Yeah, so like clearly like words like this, <laughs> rent a boat near me <laughs> with this kind of high volume. Yeah, it's essentially it's like people who are already on lo in destination, right? So that's the way, um, so that's the way that I would do that. Uh, boat hire near me, yeah. So like these would be good ones to run locally. And then this one too, right? And then these would definitely be what I'd be, targeting for um, uh, incoming, right? People who aren't there yet. Okay, so I did that with keywords everywhere. How many credits did I use, by the way? Let's see. So I used 1,300 credits. Not bad on that. Um, I could keep going and I probably will, but I have already kept you guys for too long. And I, I know that, uh, I know that, uh, you know, two and a half hours of class every day is not ideal for tour operators. I apologize that we went a little bit over on the first one, but I felt like it was necessary for us to cover a lot of important information there because the keyword research is one of the most important parts of it. Um, I'm not even doing the competition stuff that Pablo was showing on this, on, on this, in this session, I'm going to do it uh, later today when I get some time. Uh, but uh, hopefully this is also um going to be a little is going to be useful for you guys all right what are you saying philippa check those credits now yeah it's about ninety-eight thousand. it's actually it doesn't take them it's like I, I would imagine this will last for a long time you don't you don't need you don't this apparently you don't need that many credits 
Um, if you have a better tool, by the way, than keywords everywhere, you already know how to use it, you know, feel free to use it. All right. Thank you guys all so much. I hope this was also helpful. Um, and see you tomorrow.